Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 10,000 milliamp battery pack here with a built-in wall charger, built-in cables for USB-C, micro USB, and lightning, and a whole lot more here. We're going to look at the pros and cons of this, let you know everything you need to know about it and more in this video. First, a few disclaimers. This was not a review. I did buy it my own money to give you a review here. Keep that in mind. Second, pricing on these changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. So check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to it on Amazon there so you can find it online for current pricing. If I don't have to answer one of the questions you have, leave me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. It really does help us. And lastly, could you help us grow the channel? Could you help me support my family? Do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel. I would really appreciate your support. So with that said, let's start off this review just by looking at the actual battery pack. It's a pretty standard plastic battery uh, pack here. Not too large, very thin, easy to use. You do have a button here on the top that'll tell you how much power is left. There's four lights, so I have two, so about 50% of power left with it. Micro USB, oh, come on, there we go. Micro USB charging in, if you can't plug it in a wall, you have to have a USB cable, and a standard USB out. Now, the, um, the different sides here, you do have these cables that are built into it. Here is the US, oh, here is the USB-C. There we go. Very nice, uh, easy to use cable placements here for this. You can just shove it right back in. Help you manage your cables. One of the very annoying things about cables uh, and charging battery packs like this is the fact that you need to pack separate cables. This one has them all included with it. And it makes it so much easier with it. So you can see the lighting cable here. So you can charge multiple devices with this, which is really nice. And then lastly, to recharge it, it does come with a built-in, it's a little stiff when it's new, built-in wall charger. So you just plug this in the outlet, start charging the battery pack with it. Let's take a look at everything that came with this. A few interesting things with it right off the bat did not actually come with a box. It just came in the plat in the uh, carrying case here with it. I actually really like that carrying case. So if you want to put other cables in with it, you just throw some stuff in there and have your battery pack all in one spot in your backpack, um, in your suitcase or wherever. But no box was included with this. It just came wrapped in plastic. A few things um, for the actual battery pack though, it's 10,000 milliamps. That will give you about one to two charges depending on the size of your battery um, in your phone. Most newer phones are gonna be closer to the one than they are gonna be to the two. So keep that in mind. It's also not the fastest charger. This isn't going to max charge, for example, the new iPhone uh, 14, the new Samsung S22 Plus, or the new Pixel 7 um, Pro, for example. But it will charge it faster than a standard plug. It's not a painfully slow charge. It's not the fastest charge on the market. So with that said, though, as a battery pack to maybe charge overnight, this is just fine. It's a cheap, budget-friendly battery pack. You're not getting a lot of rolls. You're not getting the huge um, wattage charging. It's not a huge battery with it. And it's not the smallest 10,000 milliamp battery pack on the market. But for being a discount budget friendly battery pack, having the built-in cables is really nice. Having the built-in wall plugger plug is really nice. This is definitely something you can take with you is a one-stop shop for many different needs. You're not gonna to have to pack different cables, which I love. I often end up wrapping cables around my battery packs to take them and playing them more with me. Don't have to do that with this. So I like it. With the understanding it's not the fastest battery um, charger out there on the market. Beyond that, there's not really a whole lot to complain about it. Um, like I said though, it's definitely not the um, smallest. It's definitely not the quickest charger on the market. So we'll pull a link to this in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, you can find it on Amazon there. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, let me know. But my overall rating is this. It does what it says it's gonna do. It does it well. The construction on it is very good. We had no issues in our testing with anything not working, anything not coming back together like it should. No um, concerns over the overall quality. So there you go. If you could help us, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So where YouTube recommends our videos to more people, it really does help us. If you want to find this on Amazon, I'll put a link to it in the show notes and in the first pinned comment down below. So until tomorrow, take care, be safe. We'll be back again with another review real soon.